Hi students, my name is Niyati Seth and my topic for the presentation is Animal Kingdom. We will be discussing about the second section of the Animal Kingdom that is the Phylum Porifera. Thanks for watching Edivedia World Videos. Phylum Porifera Members of this phylum are commonly known as sponges. They are generally marine and mostly asymmetrical animals. Okay, Sponges are a diverse group of sometimes common types with about 5000 species known across the world. Sponges are primarily marine but around 150 species they live in fresh water. Sponges have cellular level organization meaning that their cells are specialized so that Different cells perform different function, but similar cells are not organized into tissues and bodies are a sort of loose aggregation of different kinds of cells. This is the simplest kind of cellular organization that is found among parazoans. Okay? Species they contain toxic substances which are probably to discourage predators. Certain other marine animals they take advantage of this characteristic of sponges by placing adult sponges on their bodies where the sponges attach and grow. The chemicals also probably play a role in competition among sponges and other organisms as they are released by sponges to ensure themselves space in the marine ecosystem. Some of these chemicals have been found to have beneficial pharmaceutical effects for humans including compounds with respiratory, cardiovascular, gastrointestinal, anti-inflammatory, anti-tumor and antibiotic activities. Sponges also provide a home for the number of small marine plants which live in and around their pore system. Symbiotic relationship with bacteria and algae have also been reported in which the sponge provides its symbiont with support and protection and the symbiont provides the sponge with food. Some sponges which is uh, known as boring sponges, they excavate the surface of corals and mollusks, sometimes causing significant degradation of reefs and death of the mollusk. The coral or mollusk are not eaten, rather the sponge is probably seeking protection for itself by sinking into the hard structure it erodes. Even this process has some beneficial effects. However, in that it is an important part of the process by which calcium is recycled. Okay. So, sponges are among the most unusual animals because of the lifestyle and appearance. Originally thought they were plants, especially since some are green due to commensal algae. They are primarily marine. They are found mostly in shallow waters and not in the deep waters. Okay. They are sessile. Sessile means they are attached to the substratum. They are sessile and attached to either the substrate or submerged objects. Sometimes on others such as crabs are the most primitive metazoans. They have neither true tissues nor organs. Okay. Now come to the morphology. They have four very loosely differentiated cells. Pinacocytes, the outer cells covering a sponge which is equivalent of epiderm. Second is porocytes. Porocytes are the cells which line the pores of the sponge through which water is drawn. Okay. Quanocytes, they are similar to quanoflagellates which are collared cells with flagella which create water current and collect food matter or sticky contractile collar may also produce sperm. Okay. Other is amoebocytes. Amoeba means amoebo means amoeba and sites are cells. So amoeba like cells they are found throughout the sponge, store, digest and transport food. They also excrete wastes. They secrete skeleton and they also may give rise to birds in asexual reproduction. There are several different types. 
Large amoebocytes they distribute food to other cells of sponge moved by the way of pseudopods which are which is also known as false podium or false foods. Other type is archaeocytes they are undifferentiated sponge cells that can give rise to more differentiated cells such as pinacocytes porocytes or oocytes okay scleroblasts they produce spicules they are of two types calcoblast they make calcium carbonate spicules that is cseo3 spicules silicoblast they make siliceous spicules okay now we will be discussing about the phylum porifera in detail okay so member of this phylum are commonly known as sponges they are generally marine and mostly asymmetrical animals they are also found in fresh water too these are primitive multicellular animals and have cellular level of organization sponges have a water transport or canal system water enters through the minute pores which is known as ostia in the body wall into the central cavity which is known as spongocele from where it goes out through the osculum this is the other opening other than ostia this pathway of water transport is helpful in food gathering respiratory exchange and removal of waste quanocytes or collar cell they line the spongocele and the canals digestion is intracellular the body is supported by a skeleton made up of spicules or spongin fibers okay they are hermaphrodite that means their sexes means male and female they are not separate like us okay that is eggs and sperms are produced by the same individual sponges they reproduce asexually by fragmentation and sexually by the formation of gametes fertilization is internal and development is indirect having a larval stage which is morphologically distinct from the adult okay asexual reproduction is the by the means of external buds some species also form internal buds called gemmules which can survive extremely unfavorable conditions that cause the rest of the sponge to die okay sexual reproduction they take place in the mesohyle male gametes are released into the water by the sponge and they are taken up into the pore system of this neighbors in the same way as food items Spermatozoa are captured by collar cells which then lose their collars and transform into specialized amoeba like cells that carry the spermatozoa to the eggs Some sponges are monoecious others are dioecious in most sponges for which developmental patterns are known the fertilized eggs develop into plastula which is released into the water in some species release takes place right after fertilization in others it is delayed and some development takes place within the parent the larvae may settle directly and transform into adult sponge or they may be planktonic for a time adult sponges are generally assumed to be completely sessile means they are attached to the substratum but a few studies have shown that adult sponges in a variety of species can crawl slowly okay a structure of a sponge uh, water enters through a ostria this is a you can say a canal system or a water transport system of sponges water enters through a minute pores called estria in the wo body wall in the central cavity this is known as spongocele from where it goes out through the osculum where water uh, flows out through the osculum okay and water is dragged into the entrance of the filter chamber through the ostria okay this is the representation of a sponge sponges have three different types of body plans okay although these morphologies do not define taxonomic groups 
Eschenoid sponges are shaped like a simple tube perforated by pores. The open internal part of the tube is called as spongocele. It contains collar cells which is a distinguishing feature of sponges. There is a single opening to the outside with uh, the osculum. Okay. And other body plan that is a second body plan is seconoid. Okay. Psychonoid. Psychonoid sponges they tend to be larger than the asconoids and have a tubular body with a single osculum. As you can see that they have tubular body with a single uh, opening which is known as osculum. The psychonoid body wall is thicker and the pores that penetrate it are longer. Okay, so pores are very longer and the body wall is very thick. They form the system of simple canals. These canals are lined by collar, seals, collar cells. Means this uh, spongo seal is lined by collar cells. Okay. The flagella of which moves water from the outside into the spongo seal and out the osculum. The third category of body organization is leuconoid. These are largest and most complex sponges. These sponges are made up of masses of tissue that penetrate by the numerous canals. Canals lead to numerous small chambers lined with flagellated cells. Water moves through the canals into these chambers and thus out via central canal and osculum. Sponges in the class Calcarea, they consider to be the most primitive group and have eschenoid, synchonoid and leuconoid members. Okay. The hexatinellida and despoispongia groups have only leuconoid forms. Okay. So this comes to an end. We'll be discussing about the phylum Cylentrata in the next section. Thank you and stay tuned.